All right, guys, welcome to episode 118 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, got the dogs put up. You already know how the fuck we're rocking, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go down in the description, get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already, or just hit the like button. How about that? Thumbs up, hit the like. You know what I'm saying? Hit the notification bell so you're notified every time when you drop. All right? But it's Tuesday. We're chilling. We're cooling. How we feeling today, Johnny Boy? How we feeling? How we feeling? Shit, it's fucking a beautiful day. Had a good weekend. Uh, I went to a quinceanera. Hey, let's, let's give yeah, a round of so applause. Happy tonight. birthday to Selena. Happy birthday to Selena. Selena, 15. The big 15. She's a grown woman now. Not really. Not but really, you but know. you know, that's kind of <laughs> like... The- like it's the entrance into womanhood. Yeah, exactly. You know exactly. So, you know, congratulations to her. I had a good time. It was really fancy. They had like the people walking around with like the shrimps and shit and fucking like champagne. Uh, yeah, it was fancy as fuck. Uh, hey. And my fancy. dog Kevin was fucking up that day, bro. My brother. Kev, what are we doing, Yo, bro? Who gets ID'd at a quinceanera? Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Kevin, you trash, bro. Damn, bro. Nah, you, hey, bro, I would have tried it too. You know what I'm saying? At that age, you're like, fuck it. I'm going to try it. He got away with a couple Coronas. <laughs> So she was like, wait, hold on. Nah, bitch, you ain't fucking. You look like you're a giant baby. You look like you're turning 15 yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and my little brother, he's taller than us. Well, he's like the same height as, as Hector. What are you, like 6'1"? No, I'm like 6'6", six, six, bro. All right, so Kevin's like 6'1". He's 6'6", six, six, so I'm five. I'm like 5'11". I'm pretty short. Not really. I'm kind of average. Nah, you're, but... you're a little bit above average. Yeah, yeah. So, But he still has a baby face, so people could tell, like. Yeah, you know, facts. Just give it one more year, buddy. You're almost there. One more, bro. You'll be all right. How many times have you been drunk and regretted it? Anyways, come on. A lot. Let's be real. Let's be fucking real. But listen, something that we got to be fucking real about, bro. Hey, listen, parents out there, especially Hispanic parents, we gotta get we got a bone to pick with y'all motherfuckers. Yeah, we got something right? to say. Because we did a little bit of research. It's Google <laughs> out nowadays. You can't bullshit us you no can, more. You could find research anywhere, all right? <laughs> we don't need to go to school, all right? Hey, listen, we didn't have to go to college to figure this shit out. Y'all almost fucking killed us with this VIX, all right? Shout out to Jay. He fucking broke down, you know what I'm saying, exactly what you're not supposed to do. It says it right on the bottle. It says it's not for ingestion. You can't swallow it, which some people did. Which is fucking crazy. And it's not for fucking... You, you're not even supposed to put it on your skin. Like, they specifically tell you on the bottle, bro, don't put it on your nose. Don't put it near your nasal fucking cavity. Like, they tell you all this shit. And what do we do? We put it on our fucking ass. We put, we put it, it on, on our, our fucking- asshole. Our fucking gooch. We fucking flip them over. We, put, we fucking put it on their nose. We rub it on our nipples. <laughs> you know, so when, that, when it sense, it goes into our nose. It opens up our old chest. Like, yeah. my mom would put it under my fucking eyelids. Bro, we'd be fucked up. Yeah. You'd be sitting there crying. Bro, your I eyes sh- burning, trying to sleep. I fucking swear Every breath you take, your lungs are on fucking fire because it's fu- like, it feels like cold air just going through your nostrils. But you know what? I felt and I woke up like a brand new man. No, bro, you wake I, up feeling fucking lovely. I woke up feeling nice. They almost fucking killed us, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, <laughs> like they the were literally putting you. poison all over her face and like, you know what? Get ready. You know, you, you go to you, sleep. Go to sleep. Yeah, sleep it good. off. You'll feel better you're in the sick. morning. Let me put some more poison on you and fucking send you to bed. Yeah, let me that? put some acid on your face <laughs> and let me fucking wipe it around your fucking elbows and your fucking crust and your fucking butts. Your, your crust, your butts and all that. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, no, Latina that's moms, bro. Crazy, Latina. Bro. Hey, listen. Yeah, a lot of us, you know what I'm saying, Ricans, we... Hey, bro, we grew Vicks. up on that. We're gonna, hey, and we're gonna raise our kids I'm, on that too. I'm probably gonna put Vicks on my fucking two year old fucking. <laughs> no, baby. And that's another thing, bro. Yeah. It literally said don't put it on kids under like five or four or some shit. Yeah. I forget the age, but it's like. No. They broke every single fucking rule. Nah, so we, shout out to you guys for not knowing how to fucking read. Yeah, shout out to y'all. I might have cancer <laughs> in the next have fucking, five years. Yeah, we might have fucking. Knock on wood. Yeah, face cancer because of fucking Vicks. At the age of six. <laughs> no, nah, for real. It's Boss. like people putting fucking baby oil on themselves for suntanning lotion. It's like, bro, people like <laughs> were dying because of that shit, bro. Let's just stop putting Vicks on our kids. fucking baking yourself with some fucking poison on Not your skin. For, for real. That's horrible, man. Hey, bro, it is what it is. It is what it is. Nah. But hey, listen, ladies, we got a question for y'all, right? We got a question. Because a lot of y'all be bullshitting when it comes down to this. So we want y'all in the comments, bro, dropping knowledge and being real about this shit, all right? Does yeah. size matter? Does size matter? Does it? Does it really matter? Does it really matter? Does the length of the wee wee? Or can you be matter? a centimeter Peter? You know what I'm saying? Can you be a centimeter Peter <laughs> and continue <laughs> to give you the wiener? 
and be okay. Doesn't matter, Doesn't ladies. Matter, we want to know because is that I, the only thing? Is that do y'all focus on that more than love? I think it's <laughs> the motion of the, the ocean. ocean. Oh my! Yo, give the, me that, bro. No facts. That's the yo, motion facts. of the come on mo- now. motion come of the on ocean. Now, bro. It's the motion of the ocean. All right. It's all about the water, the waves, the, the waves, way it the hits, splash, the way the <laughs> the way that it goes in and out. You yeah, know, it's, yeah, the yeah, tide goes in and it comes out. It's the tide. It's like the it's moon. The tide, bro. Yeah, you see the that? moon controls the waves in the fucking oceans. Y- you see that wave right there? Look at that. It's like that. You see that fucking foam at the end of that motherfucker? Do you think a giant? <laughs> you think a giant wee wee's controlling that? Or you think it a is, tiny look, one? Fucking whale sperm all at the edge. Nah, for <laughs> real, bro. But honestly, though, like I really like me personally, like I may have a giant penis. I may not. You know what I mean? Have you ever been told you have a small dick? No. Then you don't have a small dick. No, I've never I feel been. like that's how... I, but I don't know, bro. Ladies, again, go down in the comments. Would y'all let a guy know to his face, like, yo, you have a small ass dick, bro? No. Nah, I've never had, like... <laughs> I don't think women would ever tell a guy that they have a big dick because they're just going to fuck in. I think so. I don't know. I really feel like they're just like, you know what? I think you're average. Some women. Because, like... Because the way they say, I feel it, like it depends on the they woman's don't experience. Cl- they don't want to fucking <laughs> gas your head up sometimes too. You know what I mean? Like some women, they don't want to gas your head up, and they'll be like, "Damn, that's this, true." You know what that's I mean? That's true. But I feel like I feel like a lot more women are honest when it comes to that than like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying than what yeah. we think. Like I feel like if a woman tells you like, "Oh, damn, you have a big dick, bro," she she probably really means it. Yeah. Or she just hasn't had enough experience yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah, because I've had some I had some women tell me like. Yeah, you have a pretty big dick. And then I have a girl that was telling me that, hey, like, you know, it's pretty it's average. average, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. it's just like, they I don't... Dep- they had different experiences. The, the, I'm I guess you. the girl that she... I mean, the guy that she was fucking with had a fucking <laughs> goddamn fucking... <laughs> My guy <God laughs> said he's yeah. hung like a fucking uh, bat, bitch. <laughs> nah, but... You know, that, that saying of like, oh, black guys have, you know, bigger penises than... I, I don't think that's true, man. No, it's just genetics. I, I think it's all genetics. It's yeah, literally it doesn't just matter. Genetics, if, yeah, it doesn't matter the color of the skin. I really don't. Yeah, think not so. facts. I've had women tell me that too, yeah. where they're just like, "Yo, like I've had white guys like that. I've had black guys, Hispanic guys like that. Yeah, like, all races have. You know, they have the, those guys where it's just like, bro, like, but and all realistic. Like, let's let's talk realistic. Let's talk numbers, bro. Like, most men, their dicks aren't above like seven inches. I think the average male dick size, bro, is like five five to like six inches, like five and a half inches, something like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, you can't get, you know what I'm saying? You can't get too hard on yourself if like uh, you've never been told by a woman, like, you know what I'm saying? You don't have a big dick. Bro, I... Bro, most men, like realistically speaking, most men don't have like fucking nine inch dicks. They just don't. But there's some people that really do have chodes. I've actually had a woman (laughs) tell me... Speaking of chodes, like round of applause to the chode, the chode toting motherfuckers. We we already (laughs) spoke about this plenty of times, but I've had a woman tell me, like, hey, like she prefers that. Do you have a chode? That's what she asked Mm -hmm. me. And I was just like, I mean, I don't know. I don't think I have a chode. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I hope I don't. It's the same thing. You know what I mean? And like I told her, I said, hey, like, nah, I don't think I do. And then when I fucked her and I had sex with her, you know, like we just stopped talking because she prefers a chode. So I guess I don't have a chode. You see what I'm saying? Right. So, congrats to, congrats to me. Hey, round of applause to John. He doesn't have, have a chode. I don't have a chode, guys. He's hung like and, fucking Thor. And, <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, we're like, we're friends and stuff. Like, I still see her, but like, we just don't really, we don't we don't have sex anymore. You know what I mean? Hey, and, sometimes that happens. Sometimes yeah. you fuck with somebody and, and you realize like, y'all just aren't compatible in bed. Yeah, we're just not. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And, and that's she, okay. And she's like, she's not a bad looking <laughs> person. And you know what I mean? Like, I, I think she's cute. It's just, it was really random too. Like it was just something that was just out of the blue, and sometimes those are the best times. Most of that I mean, is the best time. Like we, like when, so, when you, I don't know, it's weird. The times that I've planned shit, like it still went through, but it wasn't the same as like some spontaneous yeah. shit where it's like, oh damn, like I wasn't expecting this. Women don't like that, you know that, right? You know I mean? Women don't like don't like what they don't like to plan shit. They don't like to plan. Sex. Oh yeah, yeah, you got to be a little spontaneous. Yeah, you got to be you know like. I mean? like you got sometimes you gotta fucking force her in the bathroom and just fuck her brains out right quick. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like the, there's times, man. Like there's a couple women I've 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 had sex with, and I'm like, man, like, fuck, I would I didn't expect this to ever happen. Like I went to school with you, you didn't like me, we didn't really like each other at yeah, all. You hated changed. you hated me. You actually <laughs> yeah, hated me. But that's really 
yeah the sign that they like you okay yeah you, you know, know that I mean? is true too because when you're little bro you're like in middle school and shit little girls be like oh oh my god like they hit you a lot that's a sign you know what i'm saying like they yeah. just show it differently bro you know yeah what I mean? so but, so yeah, man, I don't I don't have a chode, guys. So that's that's always good. Round of applause, one, one more God. time, guys. Round of applause, one more time for no chode gang over here. No right? chode. But listen, no. if you have a chode, who gives a fuck, man? These hoes fucking. Bro, <laughs> these there's, hoes, there's, there's, hey, there's listen, women that have different women, preferences. Yeah, there's women. Listen, there's a woman out there for everybody. Straight the fuck up. Straight the fuck up. But listen, bro, I'll tell you a woman that's not for me. <laughs> Oh shit! Listen, yo, <laughs> listen. Yo, I can yo. have a girl, right? Yeah. Let's say I had a girl. Hypothetically speaking, right? I have a girl. Let's say you have a girl. Our girls come up to us, right? Yeah. Girls come up to us when they're like, "Babe, this next weekend, you know, what I'm saying we weren't really doing much. So, you know, do you mind if I, uh, if I go to uh, another state with my guy friend? React. What's your reaction? <laughs> she asked me this question actually. And I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I I stayed fucking quiet the whole fucking time. I was like, because I didn't want to fucking. I didn't want to. Let her talk. Let her speak. You know what I mean? I'm going to be real because I was just like, man, I didn't want to fuck it up for me. You know what I mean? I'm like, fuck. Because if I say no, then she ain't coming. No, but the thing is, yeah, the thing is, it's like, it's beneficial if you're the guy friend. It is. And it's I'm beneficial and, if you're the guy friend. And I'm the guy friend. And so it's he really not even a, on that. He wants to be a piece of shit. Though. Yeah, no, but it's really not on that, though. It's literally just like, just straight up friendship. No, but how would you react? But, that but, wasn't a question. No, how would you react if you were the boyfriend and your girl came up to you saying, I want to go on a trip with my guy friend and you're not coming. We're going to a whole nother state. I'm going to feel some type of way. And I'm going to, I'm going to be like, nah, I don't feel comfortable. But right. does that, does that make me insecure? That's the real question. No, it makes you a fucking man. And it makes you a woman. It's, it goes both ways. Like, yeah. Like, there's certain things that you got to put in check in, in a relationship. If you don't put that, if you don't put like, your woman in check on the certain things in the beginning of the relationship. That's what I mean. And it's like, and that's cool, bro. Like, if that's the type of lifestyle that you want to live, bro, it's like, look, man, I would tell her just like this. Be like, look, you're a grown woman. You're going to make your decision. Just know that you go. Like there ain't gonna be us. Yeah, we're not together. Yeah. Like as soon as you pack your bag, bro, it's over. Cause it's like I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do it to you. Yeah. That's if, disrespectful. But what if, but what if she what, what if she lets you do it? And she knows like she's like, Hey, I know like that's your friend. Like that's your friend and Nah. Like, I just don't believe in I don't I don't believe in uh I don't even know how to explain it, bro. There's just people play angles, bro. People play angles. And yeah. I feel like I feel like that's something that if you're in a, if if you're in a if you're married you're married bro like that's your wife that's your husband bro y'all gotta respect each other and that that's disrespectful that's yeah. like saying you want to break without saying you want to break. Let's yeah. be real. Why do you want to go by yourself with this fucking guy friend out of nowhere that I probably never fucking heard about? I'm telling you, bro. Like yeah. I'm not. Listen, bro. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. If you're the guy friend, yeah. hey, bro, salute. Nah. If you're the boyfriend, hey, bro, don't be dumb. Don't yeah. be dumb. If she wants to go, let her go. Shut up. Let her go. But yeah. just make it very clear. Be like, yo, this is it. <laughs> like, it's cool. When you come back, you're not living here, whatever. Like, nah. you know what I mean? Like, for yeah. real. It's like, nah, bro. Like, that. that's disrespectful. That's how I feel about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And maybe I, I'm wrong. Me maybe I'm not. Nah, me personally, I would, I would be upset about it. I would probably just, like, end it right there. I'll be like, yo, pick and choose. Like, Ultimate, that's me. Yeah, like, ultim- I'll be like, yo. Ultimately, bro. Right now, you choose. He's not doing something. Yeah, he's not doing he, something he, right. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he need, she he's needs. He's not that. doing something right. Yeah, there's something there that he's not doing that I could do, and I'm gonna show baby. you. And I might make it flip, baby. Hey, baby. Yeah, I'm just playing. Right. <laughs> nah, he's not though. He's I'm a not, piece I'm of not, shit. I'm really not I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> Round of applause on my dog. Nah. Hey, my dog off the leash, bro. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I be talking all this shit like I'm a dog, and I'm really not. No, like I'm is. really not. Ladies, he is. Don't don't listen. Look, I'm I know I've known t- this guy 15 years. <laughs> listen, listen. I'm gonna tell you what, and I've been a saint this whole fucking time. All right, I've been good. I've been a good dude. I've been nah, fucking, he's a good guy, yeah. man. When he's not heartbroken. Remember, yeah. he's a Gemini, so you yeah. break his heart. Oh no, you no. Nah, it's, nah. it's chess with him. We, we so don't, he's gonna fucking checkmate you, bitch. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna, when I checkmate, you're gonna fucking know. You're gonna you're hurt. Gonna, it's gonna, gonna hurt. Like, You'll be like, damn, this thing is a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> You know, and that's fine. Nah, that's John's fine. a good guy, ladies. John's nah, a good I'm guy. a good. Nah, I'm a good dude. I'm a good dude, man. I I got a good heart. I help people out, and that's one thing that people 
need to understand is like I don't have to flash myself and be like, yo, look, I'm a good person. Like, look, like God knows. Like there's That's a fact. Yeah, like, fact. yeah, like people don't understand. Like I remember uh somebody said that shit to me. Like, oh, you're a piece of shit, blah, blah, blah. Like you're not a good you're not humble. I'm like, listen, <laughs> I don't gotta sit here and try to act like I'm humble in front of you. Right. You know what facts. I mean? And like, that's just who you are, bro. Yeah. Like if that's who you are, that's who you are. And like I'm gonna help out. There's gonna be situations in life and people are gonna look at it and be like, damn, this dude really did that. Like yeah, you know nah. what I mean? And I don't have to sit here and record myself doing it. Exactly. You see what I'm facts. saying? Like that's facts. a big thing that people need to understand. Like But people don't appreciate shit. Like we were talking about earlier before the podcast. It's like some people don't appreciate shit like that. Yeah. You know? And they're not gonna give you your flowers until like it's recorded you're gone or some shit yeah or like you gotta record it record you doing something to have proof that you're such a good person like bro like just do shit out of the goodness of your heart bro yeah like don't do it expecting something back don't do it because of whatever do it just because it's a, it's a good thing it's a nice thing to do somebody needs help help them like yeah it's not that hard it's not that complicated and like that's just something I had to get off my chest. I just wanted to say something that, that grinded my gears. Yeah, it's, nah, like, it's like it's like it's like, bro, like you don't know me. Like you're, nah, you're not riding with me twenty four hours guys, of the I'm day. A, I'm gonna give y'all a disclaimer right now, right? Y'all see us come here week after week. We've been doing this for two years. The people I keep up, you see us, you see us talk shit, right? You see me call this guy all types of names. That has been our relationship for. Ever since we fucking met. Yeah, that ass. Like, we we just talk shit to each other, but don't ever get that shit confused. This is my little brother, bro, and I love this kid, bro. Like, like I talk shit, but he's a good guy. Like, for real, for real. Like, I'm always like, oh, you're a piece of shit, whatever, but he's a good fucking guy. He got a good heart, bro. And ultimately, like, the people that don't fucking see it and don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they don't have fuck to. Fuck it. Great. Like, they yeah. don't have to. They yeah. don't have to. Because I might be judging you, too, and I don't really know you. Because I'm not going to act like I don't judge people. We all judge each other, bro. Yeah, you know what facts. I mean? But just don't act like you know somebody when you really don't. Like, yeah. for, And that's it's hard to do. Now, that's just being real. It's hard to do sometimes because you, 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 you look at certain things and you try to... When you look at a person and you're just like, man, like you literally judge them off like what they're wearing or how they... That's just the automatic. And that's what people do nowadays. We shouldn't. But that's just like it's like it's like the bum situation where it's like, man, this guy's raggedy as fuck. Like we're automatically judging this person. Like we know him, and this guy could be a hell of a fucking dude. You know what I mean? We got to just stop doing that. We got to stop doing that. And um, it's we, just human nature, yeah, too. Though, yeah, bro. human. Yeah, that's what I mean. You know, yeah, yeah. It's, it's bro. We I say the same shit all the time, but you catch yourself doing it. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. catch myself doing it too. I, you know, you look at certain people and you're like, damn, bro, like what the fuck? Bro? <laughs> Not for real, but it's just like, listen, man, ultimately, bro, we all live, we all sharing a fucking earth for a limited amount of time. But there's one thing that, there's one thing that someone told me and he's like, don't let people think like they got you figured out because the, the, the day that they figure, they, they think they got you figured out is the day that they think they know you completely as a person. And it's like, bro, like. That's not, that's not true. So the thing is we grow every day, bro. We evolve every day. Like, I don't care what you say, bro. Like you should be trying to grow every day. Like the people we were last year aren't the same people we are now. And the people we're today, it's not going to be the same in a year. Things change. People evolve. People, you you think different, you move different. You know what I'm saying? You get different goals. you, You, you get more focused, whatever. Like people change, you know what I'm saying? But ultimately, bro, you're right. It's like, Listen, man, like the like the just percent- don't act like you know people. You know yeah, what I'm and like what we post on the internet is literally only like I'm not even joking. It's like maybe one percent of like who we are as a person. It's not even that. It's not even so because like, most of that shit is just copying somebody else that's already popping. Yeah, like most people do the same exact shit on Instagram that they see somebody else that oh they got two million followers. Let me try. It. It's just like, and it's not even that. It's like maybe they post something and and I didn't like that post, and you're gonna judge them off what they said through that post. It's like, bro, you don't know their situation, you don't know what they're going through, you don't even know this person. Social media so is that a motherfucker, bro. So, It'll yeah. make you think that people that really love you don't care about you just because like they didn't like your shit. Yeah, yeah like shit look, like that. It's look, little things where it's like, oh, this, oh, this motherfucker didn't like my shit. It's like, bro. Maybe that motherfucker ain't a social media person. Maybe yeah. he's not on there all the time. Yeah, Maybe like, when he goes on there, he don't scroll down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He just does, uses it for business or whatever. Like, people use shit for different people things. People don't post like, things, yeah. Like, yeah, it's like, again, it always goes back to everybody being different, right? And I feel like one of the human, like, one of the human <sighs> dysfunctions that we have, like, as a human is, like, we want other people to think like us. And move like us. And if they don't think like us and move like us, it's like, 
it's I don't know, bro. People start acting different. It's yeah. like, bro, it's okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. That person's a drinker, that person's a smoker. That person doesn't do it either. That mm. person likes to work, that person's lazy. This motherfucker owns his own business. This guy just wants to fucking work a part-time job. It's okay. It's all okay. Yep. You know, whatever's okay for your life, bro, let let be great at it. If you want to be a fucking homeless person, be the best homeless person you can. Dead ass. Like, be the best homeless if, person you can be. If you want to fucking. You know I mean? like, yeah, if you want to fucking sit and fucking smoke weed all day, be the best fucking pothead you yeah, ever want to be. Like, like, whatever you fucking do, man. Whatever just you do, do bro, yeah. it's like. Be the best. I feel, like, I feel like as as humans, bro, we focus too much on what other people are doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, who gives a fuck? Because ultimately, like, you might not agree with anything that they're doing or what their lifestyle, whatever, but it's like, does that even affect your bills? Does that affect, like, it shouldn't. It shouldn't. It yeah. shouldn't affect your mindset at all. It's like, oh, that's what they do? Okay, cool. That's not what I'm doing, but it's, that's cool. That's what you do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and let that, me go about my business. Like, if all of us were the fucking same, then that would be some. It's ass. That would be horrible. It's There's a ass. book about that, man. Um, Don't let nobody ever change you. I've been told, bro, like, oh, you're too serious. The same way people are like, oh, you're too arrogant. Oh, you're too serious, bro. You Like, it's like, bro, that's who I am. Yeah. That's how my brain works. Yeah. I'm sorry that I don't take everything as a fucking joke. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just everybody's not the same. And, like, ultimately, bro, we can't let people try to fold you and mold you into something that they want you to be because that's what they think that is best for you. Fuck you, nigga. Who and are it, you? Like, they're not in your shoes. And if they don't you know support, yeah, if they don't support themselves, then what makes you think they're going to support you? Deadass. If they don't believe in their own fucking selves, what makes you that's think that they're going to support your business? If they that's don't have their own, if they don't have the balls to run their own business, what makes you think they're going to fucking help out in yours? Listen, you bro, birds I mean? of a feather flock together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've been learning that in the last few years. Like, now that we're running our own businesses and shit, it's like, you hang out with people that run their own businesses. Yeah. Why? Because you think alike and you understand each other's struggle. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's not the same as some, like, when we were working nine to fives, that's what we resonated with. Yep. Niggas that were working nine to fives. It's like, but it ch shit changes, bro. It's like, but yeah, bro, you're right. Like somebody that, like if they, if they don't even, haven't even tried it, bro, I feel like you have, you shouldn't be taking no advice from them. Yeah, exactly. You know I'm saying if, if you've at it. least tried it and you failed at it, I have more respect for you than somebody that's just talking shit from the couch that I never did it. Yeah. They're like, Hey, you know, I tried it. I did it. It didn't work yeah, out for me, but I now could, I'm doing something else. Yeah, And they could tell you, yo, bro, you might not learn something. You might, but this is what didn't work for me. You take what you do with that, what you want. You take that. You know salt. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like, you could learn something even when somebody else failed. Like if somebody failed, bro, you know, you can't just be like, oh, nigga, you don't know what you're talking about, bro. They might know a little bit more than you because they tried and failed. You're still trying. Yep. You haven't even gotten to the failing part yet. Cause that's important, bro. Like that Will Smith fucking uh uh speech that he gave where he's like, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta fucking try, bro. You know what I'm saying? Straight the fuck up. You gotta try. You gotta fucking try. Because if you don't try, you'll never know. And if you never know, then you'll just be wondering for the rest of your life in that wheelchair in the fucking retirement home uh with regret. And that's, that's, and that's probably one of the worst things that I want to deal with. I want, I, I'd rather be in that fucking wheelchair. Yeah. I, I have two big fears, yeah. right? The two biggest fears I have, bro, is that that's one of them. And the other one is not being able to take care of my mom before she passes. Yeah. Those are the two biggest fears I have in this world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I'm able to do those things, bro, I'll be at ease. Yeah. You know what I mean, but ultimately, bro, like, listen, man, that's just what it is. Everybody ain't the same. Yeah. And that's all that fucking, you know what I mean? And it's okay. That's all that really fucking matters. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But listen, bro, what, what happened with these fucking kids, man? Yo, What's I going went, on with nah, these man, kids I, today? Man, I went out to the fucking <laughs> outlets, bro. We were outside at that. It's outside. Wow. And, and these fucking kids, man, I remember, fuck. when I was a kid and I started yelling and screaming, my mom would take me to the car and whoop my fucking ass. Facts. That's and just, I'd act right. I don't know about y'all, but. Round of applause yeah. for our mothers. My mom would literally grab me by my fucking noggin. Bro, and fucking bring me to the fucking car and whoop my fucking ass, bro. That ass, or my dad would fucking grab me by my fucking ear. I remember Ooh. my dad would grab me by the end of my ear and fucking grab it as hard as he could, and he'd just pull it and he'd be like, "Yo, bro, listen, I'm gonna whoop your fucking ass." <laughs> no, nah, but you like, know what the thing is? People look at that as like abuse and this and that. Well, my ear's bro, a little bit bigger now that I'm <laughs> now that I'm fucking grown, bro. I'm thankful for those ass whoopers. Yeah, me too. Because as an adult now, it's like, bro, I was out of line. And as a kid, bro, as a kid, you don't run shit. That's what as a kid you don't understand, and it makes you mad. Especially that's why, like guys, once we hit fifteen, you start thinking you're a man, and you start, but you're really still fucking not. You're still a fucking kid, and you don't know shit about the world. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yeah, bro, 
ultimately, bro, like I'm thankful for those ass weapons, man, because it, it, it made me who I am today, bro. It, it showed me respect. It showed me that there's consequences to things. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. showed me that people don't fucking, they don't, like I didn't respect until I got my ass whooped. Yeah, they don't want to hear you, know you whining. And then when you're out shopping, they, no one wants to hear you fucking crying. I'm talking about this kid was screaming, bro. This 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 little fucking kid was screaming, Listen, screaming bro. his ass off. I think it was a girl, actually, a little girl screaming, and they're just walking. She's walking. I don't understand. Like, what Spoiled is that? What children. is that? What is that gonna do? It's those are little kids that have never been told no. They they get what they want when they want. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Their parents pr- pretty much spoil them. Not all the time. Sometimes kids just fucking act up. You know, but a lot of the times when they're that that confident and doing it in public like that is because that they've been babied, bro, and they've been they've been spoiled. You know what I'm saying? So they're, you know what I mean? It's different. Yeah. It's, it's different. But yeah. it, it's sad, bro. As a parent, bro, you should have control of your children. You should have you some type I mean? of control because it's only going to get worse. Yeah. That's when, you know, they start fucking doing drugs and doing this, partying at 13, 14. You can't control them. You're crying. Oh, bro, I don't know what to do with them no more. Well, you should have started at fucking four years old, bro. Yeah, especially... Start, you know what I mean? Like, Yeah, especially with, with a girl, a little girl, because she's going to grow up into a woman. You know what I mean? And then, like... And to men, too. Yeah, and to you know men. I mean? But there's only... Because We talked men, about I, it. You know, we get to a certain age where it's like, mom, you can't tell me what to do. You know what I mean? It's different. Yeah. It's but different. Yeah. It, it, like, you need to... Inst- that's why it's important to have both parents around. But yeah. men, for men, bro, we go to prison. Yeah, definitely. Like, a woman gets pregnant and goes and gets a job and, like, becomes a nurse or some shit. Yeah. Men... Get killed or go to fucking prison Jeez, when they go down the wrong path. Dog, you know what I'm saying? My dog said, "Nurse, yo, try this shit serious. out of like six women that I know. Six women, <laughs> yo, a like seventy five percent of y'all, bro. Why do they become nurses? Or you nail technician? Why do they become? You do hair, you do nails, you're a fucking nurse, or you know what I mean? I don't and know. half of y'all drive Altimans. It's no, crazy. I'm not gonna let no nobody <laughs> touch my feet. <laughs> like, you know, I, I, I'm not gonna, unless you're Where Asian. Where the fuck did that come from? Unless you're Asian. <laughs> Unless you're Asian, if you're not Asian, then you're not good at doing your hey, fucking listen, clean. You know what's crazy, bro? I've never had. I've never. What's that called? A pedicure? Yeah, me neither. I never, I've had, never one had one. Yeah, bro. but I but think, we're men, so it's it's different. Uh, but I feel like we should. Yeah, once in a like while. Once in a while, I think yeah, it's, it's a good important. idea. Yeah, I, it's part I think, of hygiene. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> my feet are really not that bad though. But I've seen some people that it's just it's it's it gets pretty bad, man. It gets pretty crusty down there. Hey, Toby. <laughs> Yo, Toby. A lot of applause on my fucking yeah, dog. Yo, Toby, we've been trying to shit out you these past couple no, episodes. I fucking love Toby, but hey, bro, you could start a fire with them heels of yours, bitch. If y'all want to know who Toby is, Toby is actually on episode, uh, what? It was like 30-something. Like it was like 30-something. So look for him. You'll see him. It's like two He's guys. Like, when you see two guys and one of them has a block fucking head. <laughs> yeah, one with a block him. head and the other one that looks like a bat. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Nah, shout out my You're dog, a fucking God. piece of shit. Nah, shout bro. out to Miguel, bro. Nah, he's chilling, Cali. I know, bro. My dog be fucking cool, bro. He's bringing, he be sending he's, me videos. Hey, he's bringing us shit. some some packs. He's bro, bringing us some. Shut the fuck nah. up. My dog ain't bringing shit. <laughs> he's he's bringing, out there he's enjoying. Bringing he's bringing an A. He's enjoying his motherfucking life, bro. He ain't doing nothing illegal. No, he's not. But he's gonna yeah. bring me an A. And that's I think that's a little bit illegal. But guess what? <laughs> Don't worry about it, dog. I'm smoking it now. You for real, backpack boys. That's fucking fine by me, bro. Yeah. We got that Zal over here too. Yeah, facts. <laughs> nah, but we Shut out. the fuck up. Yo, we out here, man. Uh, nah, but listen, man. Listen, 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 guys. This is it. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go down in the description, get yourself some merch, man. And listen, just hit a hit, hit the like button, bro. Just hit the like button. Hit the motherfucking like, bro. Hit the fucking bell. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, man. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace and love, guys. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Thank <laughs> you.